when I was introduced to the Hardy Boys and their crew, they had a crew of young kids, and um, they were young, and I believe Jeff was 16, and um, Matt was 19 or 20, and all these kids came to my ring. And, of course, I have releases and stuff like this to have them sign and give them in the ring. And and I, and I before all my shows, we'd have a class. We'd have a training session. And these kids could lock up. I, mean, I said, geez, I can't use this. But then again, they turn around, and they could do a triple flip off the top rope. I said, well, I could blend this. And, again, people were, you know, it's... it's you know, enthuse or eccentric, whatever the word is I am trying to think of, um, amazed that the, this is happening. Wow, man, this is freaking awesome how this is happening because they don't really see it. I mean, the biggest things were the kabukis and, the, you know, the things, that, the high-flying cross bodies and stuff like this, but for someone to do a triple gainer and a flip and to come off the top rope or ladders and stuff like this, but when you're weighing 140 pounds, 150 pounds, and you're not you're not 300 pounds landing on this ring, it's a little different. But these kids could not lock up. They couldn't do a headlock takeover. They could do a high spot. All the basics that you that you want to do in a ring, these kids couldn't do. I I got I got the credibility to bring the talent to New York. I got the credibility to show the talent to New York. So and all these these young kids, I told them, I said, look, guys, you're going to get paid $150. I'm going to charge you $100 for the bookie fee because the bottom line, there's no, there's no secrets here. The bottom line, I get all the heat. I mean, when, when I say heat, it's like when I take you up there and they don't like you, they're not going to come to you and say you, you stink or you're, you're the bad guy or you're, you suck or whatever. They're going to come to me. They pull me to the side. What the heck are you bringing this freaking freaking batch of guys? They're too small. They're terrible. They can't work. They can't wrestle. They can't do anything. I get chewed out like crazy. So I figured that was my, my, you know, I got, I got all the heat for it. So basically I figured, hey, hey, that's worth it to me. But this was, you weren't, you weren't the first person to do this, right? Because even in Crockett or Georgia, there was usually somebody that would collect oh, yeah, guys yeah. that yeah, yeah. just needed for Yeah, them. and they would pay a fee. Mm-hmm. It wasn't, it's, it's not a new thing. It's not a new thing. So so what, check it out, man. I, it's kind of funny because I would run a, I'd run a van. I'd take it up to New York, and I'd have 15 guys that are packed in there with the gear and everything, sleeping. I'd drive them up there safely. I'd get them in a hotel. I'd get them in there, and I'd, we'd sit them inside there, and we'd, we'd wrestle and then, you know, they line them up against the wall, and they say, I can't use none of them. Uh, they're, they're too small. They look terrible. So, jeez. Oh, I said, my God, come on. So, but, but I still get paid, and it's still get, they would still get paid because I, based on my word, okay? And then next time I'd call them, and I'd plead with them. I'd plead with the agents up there. I said, come on, I got some better crew now. I got this, I got that. So I'd bring them again. And then I mix match, and I bring some different guys. They liked a few. And then um, the Hardys, you know, they didn't, they practiced on their trampoline. I took them in the ring. I showed them how to lock up. I, I yell at them every night. I teach them how to wrestle. I taught them how to wrestle. I taught them everything they knew as far as in that squared circle. And, and it really kind of bothers me that they have the audacity to even talk bad about me and then turn around and say thank you because it would have made it without me. And I don't see that that's just so unheard of. That really bothers me as, as a personal point of view because I'm, I put my whole life in I did it for 20-some years. I, and these kids, you know, they, they did it in their backyard on a trampoline.